Welcome to Flip Math Lesson 4.6, Multiplication and Division Fact Families. The key concepts today are to use fact triangles to generate multiplication and division fact families, look at patterns for, from fact tables, and to explore the inverse relationship between multiplication and division. And then finally, to apply the turnaround rule to multiplication. The objective is to review fact families and the multiplication division fact table and to guide children as they practice multiplication and division facts. <clears throat> Just a quick reminder of some terms that we need to know by the end of the year. Multiplication terms. The numbers that you are multiplying together are called the factors. The answer to a multiplication problem is called the product. Again, factors are what you're multiplying, product is the answer. Division terms. The dividend is the number you have to start with. It's the beginning number that you have as a total. The division symbol tells me then to divide by three, which is the divisor. The second number in this division equation is the divisor. It's how many groups you're grouping your dividend into. So I have 12 of something grouped into three groups. The quotient is the answer to a division problem, how many are per each group. Fact family triangles for multiplication and division. If you look, we have our two factors at the very bottom. So our factors are 6 times 4 and 4 times 6. The two bottom numbers we're multiplying together to get the product, the top number of your triangle by the dot, 24. This shows my turnaround rule for multiplication. I can switch 6 and 4 around, I'm still going to get 24. But division is a little different. With division, it's really just the opposite of multiplication. I'm going to start with 24, and I'm going to divide by 6, and my answer is 4. I'll start with 24 again, but now I'm going to go the opposite way and divide by 4, and I will get the other number, 6. This is an example of a fact family triangle for multiplication and division. Sometimes you may see a missing variable or a missing number, a question mark. When you have the two bottom numbers of your triangle, we know that we're going to multiply those to get the higher number. So 3 times 9 and 9 times 3, because of our turnaround rule, will equal a total. Well, if I skip count by 9s, 9, 18, I remember that pattern, it went 9, 8, 7, and the, and the tens place went up 0, 1, 2, I know it's 27. So this question mark will be 27. Because of that, I can also divide. 27 divided by 3 equals 9, and 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Looking at another problem, this time, though, I'm missing one of my factors. So because of that, I don't know this number yet, so I'm going to start with division. Because either way, I'll have the same answer for my fact family. 30 divided by 3. Well, I know that 3 can go into 3 one time. And I know 3 can fit into 0, 0 times, which tells me 3 times 10 is actually 30, which makes sense. So 30 divided by 10 equals 3. So my question mark number is 10. My turnaround rule for multiplication, 10 times 3 is 30, and 3 times 10 is 30. So uh, we'll, I'll give you an example here. We have uh, 49 divided by 7. Okay, 49 is our dividend and 7 is our divisor. So if we're going to use our multiplication chart, uh, we've got to go and uh, find our divisor and our factors on the outside of our multiplication chart. And I'll highlight the factors. Okay, these are our factors right here. The outside of our multiplication chart are our factors. So, you go ahead and you find the, fa uh, the divisor, okay, and you follow it over until you find the dividend. So once you find the dividend, you take it straight up. So 49 divided by 7 equals 7. Okay. Try another one. 
Okay, uh, 56 divided by 8. Okay, but 56 divided by 8, 8 is our divisor. So we're going to find 8 on our multiplication chart. Okay, you follow it over until you find 56. And then you follow it up until you find the other factor, which is 7. So 56 divided by 8 equals 7. Uh, try another example. Um, 25 divided by 5. Okay, 5 is our divisor, so we find that on our multiplication chart. Okay, 5, we follow it over until you find 25. Okay, once you find 25, you go up. So, 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay, and do another example. 24 divided by 8. Okay, you go ahead and you find our, your divisor, which is 8 on your multiplication chart. You follow it over until you find 24, then you go straight up. So, eight, 24 divided by 8 is 3. So now that you uh, know how to use uh, your multiplication chart to, uh, to divide, you shouldn't have any problem with uh, division. <laughs>